Well, this road trip close to home is perfect for music lovers. The Grammy Museum experience inside the Prudential Center highlights some of New Jersey's famous and most influential musicians. Photojournalist Mike Roberts shows us around. For me, as a kid from New Jersey, there's no bit greater opportunity. It's an amazing place. Prudential Center is the world-class venue. And again, to be here with these greats and get to meet so many of these greats, and I get to interview a lot of them. I, I always say I do have the coolest job in New Jersey, and I think that's true. New Jersey has such a deep and rich musical history. Everybody from Bon Jovi to Count Basie to Frank Sinatra, including Whitney Houston, that dress is the dress she wore when she sang I Will Always Love You at the Grammy Awards. In Sissy Houston, Dionne Warwick, Gloria Gaynor, there's so many people here. The third state with the third most big four Grammy Awards behind New York and California, which gives you an idea of how, how many awards New Jersey has created here. This is our traveling exhibit area. This is Bruce Springsteen Live, the first of its kind exhibit, debuted here in October, it celebrates his, not only his life, but specifically his touring, and everything's built around that, as you'll see. This is a, an old synthesizer from the 1980s that Roy used to play, and it's, you can actually see on the top, there's a set list from the Born in the USA tour that has managed to stay on there all these years. Bruce's Esquire guitar, Clarence Clemens saxophone that he then was passed on to Jake, his nephew, who now plays in the E Street Band. We have brand new interviews from Bruce, from members of the band. He's sort of the quintessential, iconic New Jersey artist. So there's really no better place than to have, you know, his exhibit here to be first. Kick it up, kick it up, kick it up. About 80% of this museum is interactive. You have an opportunity to come in here and try your skills at putting together a Bruce Encore set. What's this bell? It's Max Weinberg himself giving an example of how to play one of his most iconic drum parts for Bruce, born in the USA. So he plays it, you play along with him. Really, it's a lot of hands-on. So if you want to learn about how music is made, how it's recorded, you can do that here, which is really great for young people. And what a great venue with all these people coming in for concerts, coming in for Devil's Games to be able to enjoy the museum either before or after their event. There's really no better place in this state than right here at Prudential Center. You can visit the museum's website for online exhibits, artist interviews, and educational programs. You can find the link on our website at news12.com. And Bruce Springsteen Live runs through March 20th. And if you're looking for fun things to do around the tri-state, watch Road Trip Close to Home tonight at 7 p.m.